Something I want to confirm about that teddy bear you said you lost. Can you tell us its characteristics? Characteristics? Asper's a really ugly teddy bear. He has sharp teeth, big ears like a rat, and for some reason wears a red tie, which no bear should ever do, but the tie's just to hide his big belly button. He thinks he's hiding it really well, but it's blatantly obvious. That makes him sound like a monster. It's really cheeky and foul-mouthed and has a huge appetite. His food-wasting habits can't be underestimated, either. He loves sushi, especially with fatty tuna. Really extravagant stuff, and it always makes me want to ask, is that tuna or salmon? Cheeky, foul-mouthed appetite? But he's always by my side, and helps me when I'm down. About why would you tell them all this shit? Why would you just go, it's a teddy bear, with teeth and a tie? <laughs> always rely on Masper to help me. He was the one who cheered me up when my mom died and I fell into depression, and he helped a lot in that mansion today. As for such an important friend to me, I'm hopeless without him, so I have to find him. They're not gonna believe me. Uh, Ida, what's this girl talking about? Makes it sound like her teddy's alive. Don't worry, Yoda. Yoda's just playing in the forest. I'm gonna go find him. He always gets so lost in playing that he doesn't come back until late. Yoda, my dear Yoda, I don't go anywhere anymore. Mrs. Mrs. Kishikawa, that dog. Yoda, say hello to Ito. Uh, no, Yoda! So sorry, he's so shy. Kishikawa, you're... Let's get home for dinner, Yoda. Can I make your favorite stew? Yes, ever since the death of her father, she said the most outlandish things. Oh, great. Makita, take her to the village office. What do you mean? I'm giving it back to Miss Mirren and Mr. Shun. What? Why? Those two were criminals! Please don't say that about your own family. Family, what in the world are you saying? Miss Mirren and Mr. Shun told me everything. How either your sister, you're their sister, have a lying disorder. What? We can't meddle in your family issues any more than we have. I understand the shock of losing a father, but your siblings had to go through the same. The shock of losing a father? What? what are you saying? Those two killed my father! Stop it, please! Talking teddy bears and supernatural powers don't exist. Wake up and face reality! Ah, wait! Open the store. I'll go get the key. Please do. Miss Machino, you can't be doing these things. Please just face up to reality. You said you can't meddle in family issues anymore, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. It wasn't the same. And wasn't it the same with Mrs. Kishikawa, too? Maybe as an outsider, it's not my business, but do you really think it's right to keep this up, Ito? I think the way you've, you're acting is absurd. Pretending a dead person is still alive, living like nothing's even wrong. It's not me who needs to face reality. It's this village. Ito, I borrowed the master key. What's the matter? N nothing. Let's get inside. She's gone. She, she escaped this way? By the way, Yoda. Hmm? Yoda? Where? Huh? What? You aren't Yoda? Me? No, my name's Kato. Kato. Really? But that charm clearly had Yoda embroidered on it. Oh, that's because it's my memento of Yoda. He gave it to me a little bit before the accident happened. Uh, I see. I was scared to go to Dr. Ishikawa's office, so he said, take this and you'll be okay. Accident? Hey, mister, do you think if Yoda had this charm, he wouldn't have died? If you would have died because I had it, then... You shouldn't let that bother you. But I don't know, Yoda must hate me. I can't imagine that. Yoda lent you his charm because he was worried for you, didn't he? A kind boy like that couldn't hate you. I hope so. I know so. I guarantee it. Thanks, mister. I've done nothing worthy of thanks. No, you have. I always wanted someone to tell me that, so I'm really grateful. Don't mention it. 
Well, we should get walking. Yeah. Break. Hmm? Where did that hole come from? Sometimes the ground caves in like that after it rains. It was a close one, huh? Yep. North Ikariki Village, West Mobaic Farm. That's my house there, mister. Oh, cool. Welcome back, Kato. Did you find Jota? No, I didn't. I see, I see. Well, those young boys and out. Yeah, those, yeah, those young boys and I can't talk. Oh my god, are out searching. So I'm sure he'll be found soon. Hmm? Isn't Yoda dead? Oh, uh, we're not looking for that Yoda. We're looking for the dog. I saw him run into the forest, so I went looking for him. Who's this, Kato? I met him in the forest, and he went with me back here. Sorry to intrude, ma'am. Oh, did you really thank you for looking after him? No, it was no big deal. Oh, but it is shy little Kato's hope and his heart to you. You must have been good to yeah, you must have been good to him. Ah, yes, would you like some dinner? No, your thanks are enough. There's still something important I have to do. Oh, just one favor to ask. Can I borrow your phone? Yes, go right ahead. Thank you, ma'am. Hello? I know, I know. Uh, wait, no, da don't hang up. I'm kind of in a bad situation. Hey, who are you calling? Oh, an old acquaintance. Ah. Mister, what's that? Oh, uh, so that's yours, mister? I actually picked up other things like that while I was looking for Yoda. Huh? Oh! All right. Oh, the poor thing. Give me a moment. I'll fix this up. Grandma to the rescue. Holy shit. <laughs> Masper, can you hear me? Hey, Masper. No oh, good. Maybe you won't be fixed that easily. Yes, you were talking to a teddy bear. No, don't misunderstand this. Uh... Yes, this is a state-of-the-art toy. A walking, talking teddy bear. Who you call it a toy? Oh, he really talks! Masper! Where's this? What am I doing here? Wait, where's Mayo? What happened to her? Oh yeah, it was that woman tearing me to pieces with knives. Oh, she's gonna get it. This talking teddy bear says some pretty scary stuff. Calm down, Masper. They're not here right now. You've got some splaining to do, old man. I know, don't get so excited. Where should I begin? Ah oh, yes, it was 22 years ago. You're starting there? <laughs> I love that. So let's summarize. 22 years ago, you met a girl, she lost her memory, and you named her Mickey. Right? You started to look into what happened to Mickey using the shreds of her memory. Right, right. You found out that Mickey'd been kidnapped by the Eye of Truth and put into an ESP training program at the facility they called her the Puppeteer. Right, right, right. The Puppeteer could breathe life into dolls, and while I love to promptly deny that a ridiculous power like that could actually exist, it wouldn't exactly sound convincing coming from me. Precisely. So the Puppeteer fled the facility, married you, and gave birth to Mayo. That's right. Said I'm married and shouldn't have kidnapped Mayo because they want the puppeteer power sleeping within her. Which is ridiculous. Seems to be the truth. How does that make any damn sense? Mayo ain't got no puppeteer powers. What would the Eye of Truth target her? Why would the Eye of Truth target her? I don't know if Mario inherited the powers or not, but they must want the puppeteer's power enough that they're willing to bet on that small possibility. Still don't make sense. I mean, they haven't tried to do nothing all the way since Mayo's mom fled till now, right? That tells me that the puppeteer's power isn't all that important to him. So why wait 20 plus years and come up with this bonkers plan to try to get their hands on it now? That? I don't know. There must have been an impetus. Hey, look! The Eye of Truth is on the news! Huh? Something happened? Uh, they 
just found out that the Eye of Truth's leader person died a couple days ago. There it is! What? Leader of the cult died just the other day? Mystery of mysteries! Right around when their leader died, those two started plotting to kidnap Mayo. Hey, by leader, what do they mean? That would be the most important person in their church. Whoa, and they died? Then, is the Eye of Truth, like, over now? You can say. They're so late, what are they doing? Hmm, maybe our plan failed? Ishikawa, why are you here? Heard you got arrested for kidnapping like fools. Thought I'd come see. Sheesh, this is why I always said not to get cocky about your powers. Why don't people listen to their elders? Shut it, what have you been doing anyway? Only what I was told you. You can't complain about that. Very well. Where is the puppeteer's daughter? Did you not bring her here? Not the foggiest idea. I heard she tricked the youth club and ran off. What? You must be joking. Why didn't you capture her? That wasn't in the agreement. My job is only to examine the girl to determine if she had the puppeteer's power. If she did, to awaken it. You don't know how to adapt. This is why I hate to rely on people like you. Well, I think we ought to hear Ishikawa's report before we go after our little puppeteer. You did do the job you were asked to do, right, dog? Yes, of course. To make a long story short, Mayo Machino has inherited the puppeteer's powers. Yes, just as I thought. One step closer to success. In the awakening thereof, you were successful, yes? No, I wasn't able to. I was interrupted in the midst of things. You cannot be serious! How can you not have awakened them? You're completely useless, you old coot! We came to this village solely because of your ability to awaken powers. A monkey could do the examination. Wait, please, at least let me finish. We didn't awaken her powers because it's not necessary. Which means she's already awakened. Yeah, it seems she hasn't noticed. Already awakened? Is that true? Yeah, I wouldn't lie. If you're lying, you'll pay dearly. <sighs> Have a little faith. You haven't changed a bit, have you? Quiet, I'll crack that egg head of yours. Ooh, very scary. Well, I'll be taking my leave. Don't contact me again, please. Hold on! What now? Let us out of here before you leave. Why should I have to do that? Because. Let's not have any misunderstandings. I'm not on your side. My membership in the church is a thing of the past. I took the request out of goodwill, but letting you free is a different story. I wouldn't betray this village. You rotten! If you don't let us out, I'll tell the villagers how you used to be a member of the church. Turning to threats? What a sad woman. You're gonna have a hard time marrying. If you are careful in that back talk with that back talk, you won't be living to a ripe old age. Not the time to quarrel, you two! Look, Ishikawa, will you let us out if we vow we'll never bother you again? Never again? That's not just a lie, is it? Nope, swear in the name of our leader. Right, Marin? Marin, say you swear! I swear we won't bother you ever again. <laughs> Very well then. You idiot. Say, Ishikawa, don't think anything of it. The leader is dead, yet weren't you one of the founding members? The church has changed since then. I don't think anything of it, no. Hmm. Back to Ishikawa! Hmm, what is it? It's good news. Well, sort of. We found Yoda! Come back to Kishikawa's house! Oh, be right there. Uh, where'd those two go? It was empty when I arrived. They must have made a break for it. They escaped? I need to tell Ito right away. Uh, why is it one problem after another tonight? I anyway, we need you to take care of Yoda. I'll go find Ito. What a fidgety sort. <laughs> 